Welcome back to the Juice Pass testing show. Let's set it as default to use the combo. I have no idea what that means. Ready to charge. Yes. The display tells me to connect. And there we go. It's connecting. Plug the cable in to start the charging. Well, I did. By the way, did you notice the interior on the new vehicle? <laughs> Sorry that I turned the steering wheel. I think you're already working. Let's see. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> it thinks that it has been charging for 16 minutes, which is probably the last uh, cabbie who was charging up here, like the other guy. Because it was a Nissan Leaf, so actually, that's quite interesting because the Nissan obviously didn't use the CCS plug. But uh, yeah, these Effacheck chargers have their own um, fun ways to do business. So can I, can I actually see something on the screen? I'm not even aware if there's a way to find out what's going on with the vehicle. So I installed this DS app, but where did it go? Oh yeah, it's called My DS, of course. Which is well. I signed up for this remote control function. Ah, the display did show something. 70 kilometers per hour. Well, if you think about the fact that it's 96% full, then uh, I'm impressed. <laughs> but these, uh, can I see anything? No, probably not. Yeah, so that display isn't very useful. And uh, the Juice Pass app also a bit doubtful uh, ah so it tells me that I have been charging for 50 sec seconds uh, I don't know but my video has been quite a bit longer than 50 seconds so yeah no not much information but it definitely looks like I'm charging up for free and since this is a, a press vehicle that's not really that um, impressive because there's a charging card included with the vehicle. But um, yeah, why not try the juice pass instead? And I mean, you have to. The details on the chairs, and especially the combination of, you know, this door interior. This is no Skoda City Go, I can tell you that. Let's look at it from the outside a little bit. The Opera Edition. I really like that these uh, these come out when I when I walk towards the car. Um, I will demonstrate it in a different video. There's 18-inch wheels on the vehicle, so I don't know if that is their biggest or their smallest. Or I have to find out if you could get different wheels if you want to drive more economic stuff like this. It's actually not as high as I expected. Like when I stand next to this. Uh, yeah. not like this huge SUV that I was almost expecting so uh, very curious about the vehicle we will do a lot of testing this week many more videos coming up probably and of course many more charging videos and I will also try Ionity um, because we have to find out if this juice pass is working so okay we're at 97%. So since I sort of need to go, I will shut down the charge. Yeah, I'm sure of it. You can hear the machine shutting down already. Well, that was definitely a five-star charging experience. And Let's do one more test, because yesterday 
I did try to scan the QR code, which didn't work. So if you try to scan this Allego QR code... Oops, something went wrong. So that is usually not working, unfortunately. Uh, I heard, heard many reports like this. And it uh, didn't work for me before either. What is nice is that I don't need to unlock the plug. I have had many vehicles before Hello Jaguar that um, yeah, don't necessarily unplug if you unplug from the machine. So then it's better to start with the car. But when I unplugged from the car way back in 2018 with the Jaguar, there were these software hiccups that seemed to be happening more. So yeah, um, sometimes it's nice to use the app and sometimes uh, even the details on the mirrors and this roof so yeah the first juice pass test seems to be successful and i will report back on um, ionity later today